Hello and welcome to Stamp by Stamp Creations. My name is Cindy Russell and today I want to share with you how to make these adorable cap and gown gatefold cards. You can make them in two different sizes or if you want to figure out other sizes you certainly can. But this one, this larger one is going to fit in a six and a quarter. Well, the card itself is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you would need to use the large memories and more envelope for the card. Whereas I, I shrunk it down with this little blue one so that it would fit in a regular sized envelope. And that's the one I'm going to show you today. So what you need to start with is here are all the pieces and parts that you're going to need. You need a piece that's, and I'm not sure if you can uh, see all these, but I've got an, another sheet that's got the dimensions on them. But you're going to have a piece that's three and three quarter by seven inches, and you're going to score it from each end at one and three quarter inches. Then you need a square that's three and a quarter by three and a half. A square that's two and a half by two and a half, a square that's two and a quarter by two and a quarter that you're going to score on the diagonal, and a piece of white that's one and three quarter by one and three quarter that you cut in half, and two pieces that are an eighth of an inch by about three inches. So this little square one is what you're going to use to make the collar. These are going to be the, just the edges of the collar that will match your tassel. And I will show you how to make the tassel. The large white one is the inside. The large colored one will be your cap. The small one goes fits inside of the cap, which is how you can fold it over. So let's get started. I've got my three and a, three and three quarter by seven inch piece. I need my bone folder, but what I want to do instead of just folding them over and uh, creasing them on the fold, is I want to kind of fold them over and make sure that these edges are butted up against each other. I'm going to hold that, and then I'm going to give it a good crease. That way, as you can see in my card here, you won't be able to see the white on the inside of the card. All right, so I've got that. Then we'll do the collar. So I've got my two pieces of the collar here, and you've got to kind of figure out they're going to go Try this again. They're, all right, probably easier if I did it this way. Here we go. Just like this, they're going to be. So you wanna make sure you know which way they're gonna go on there so that you know where to glue your edges. So I am going to use my liquid glue and I just want to take some little tiny you don't want a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and line it up on that edge. And I'm going to pick it up and make sure that I get it on there straight. And the reason you want to make sure that you get it straight is so that when it's on there, you get this nice mitered look where they meet. All right, so then I'm gonna do that again. I'm a little off camera here, sorry. Couple little bit of glue there. Oops, now that I've totally messed everything up. Put it on there and you want a little overhang so that you can trim it. Check the other side. Looks good. 
And I'm going to let that dry for just a second before I trim them off and put them on my card. But the next, I this is the smaller square piece. That's going to be the piece that folds over. So I'm, I've already scored it diagonally. So I'm going to fold it and crease it well. I'm going to open this up. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, I want the fold just slightly above the edge of the card to give it a little extra room to be able to fold over all the other layers. So I've got that figured out. And then what I want to do before I glue it down, I want to make sure that the point is at the edge of the, right in the middle there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a pencil and make a light mark there before I use my glue. And when you use liquid glue, you don't want to get too terribly close to the edges like I did just there, or it's going to go all over the place. But then I'm going to take this and place it in that little notch that I made with my pencil and do that. And it's actually okay that the glue came over because that is what your square piece is for. Because that is going to go right on the inside of the card and it looks like I totally... Nope. I'm wrong. I did it just right. So what I would do is I forgot to get my stamps out but I used the Happy Thoughts stamp set. The congratulations from it for the inside of the card, as you can see here. And I, I want to tell you that if you like this stamp set, it is not carried over into the 21-22 annual catalog, but it is available through June when the uh, January to June mini catalog goes away. So if you like it, you might want to grab that. Otherwise, there's probably plenty of other stamp sets that have congratulations on it, but that's the one I used for my cards. So since I've made a mess here, I'm going to go ahead and just put some glue on here. And the reason I'm using the liquid glue today is for some of these pieces that I need to finagle around and make sure that they... I can move them into the right positions. So there you have the inside of your card. And while I let that dry, I will go back to these. And what I want to do is I like to go on the back side when I trim them so that I can use my scissors right up against the edge. And these will work with your, uh, your little snips would work well with this too. I just had these large scissors out. Get that out of the way. Trim this other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here. Turn it over. We want this side because we want it to meet in the bottom. And then what I do is I just, again, I kind of butt things up in the corner. And we can see that this little piece here kind of uh, overlaps. And once it's dry, I can trim that also. Then I will do this side. I got a lot of glue on there. Hopefully it won't smear. So I'm going to place that there. And again, line it up right along that edge. And we 
can see that I did a pretty good job. I, you can see the white a little bit, but it, I mean, it's not that big a deal. And there we go. Get that corner good. And what I'll do is again, turn it over, just snip that off. And there you have the, the front of your card and see this way it'll, it'll fold over And this isn't going to matter because you're going to line up your hat piece to cover everything. So what I want to do now is I'm going to turn this over. Put my glue here. But then I want to close up my card, kind of hold this over and take my cap and just line it up along those edges so that you won't, when the card's closed, you won't see the edging of the collar. And then the point is lined up right here on the, the middle of the gate of the gatefold. And there I have my card. So now comes probably the hardest part of making your card. And I've already made it, but I've got my tassel. Oops, I need my mini glue dots. What did I do with those? Okay, there. So what I want to do after you've got your tassel made, and it'll look like this when you got it done, is I'm going to just take a glue dot Put it over here where I want my tassel and place my tassel there. Then I am going to take another glue dot, place it right in the middle, center it between these two and these two, or you know, close to that. Come over here, press that down. But then what I like to do is I like to take another glue dot and put it right on top, kind of just sandwich that embroidery floss right in there. And then I will trim that. And of course, I forgot to punch one. The little, what I would do then is I would punch a circle a small circle. This circle is three eighths of an inch of a, it's from a retired punch that we had. Any, any small circle, or uh, if you want to put bling on there, you could put a, some kind of jewel to hold your, the edge of your tassel. But all I did then was I punched my circle and then adhered it with another glue dot to make that. So that is my small graduation card. The large one you make exactly the same way, except it's different sizes. And you can see this tassel looks pretty long. So then what you would do is you would just, however long you want to make it, just take your scissors and, and snip. Then you have a slightly shorter tassel. But what I did for my tassel then, so I started with a small piece of cardstock. It's a half an inch wide by two inches long. And when I made the tassel for the uh, the larger card, I just made my uh, little piece two and a half inches, I believe it was, or two and a quarter for the, the length of it. And then what you do is what you need, you're going you're gonna to need like 36 inches of a floss. So you've got, you're going to need a lot of floss or baker's twine if that's what you want to use but you need you need a lot to get this started so what i like to do is i'm going to take one of these uh this is, these are about six inches i want to make a little loop on one end of it and i'm not going to tie it tight but i just want to have that loop ready for when i if, after I get got my tassel already wrapped and then I'm going to need another piece. So I start with the end of my floss and I'm going to line it up with one of the edges. 
and it doesn't matter if it stays down there, but that's, then I'm just going to start wrapping about one, two, three, four, five or six times. And then I'm going to end at the same edge that I held that one down at. So then I will just take my scissors again and trim that. Oh, you know what? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this under, or I could have slipped it under before I started um, wrapping it, which probably would have been a little easier. There we go. Got it under there. Keep this one down. And what I want to do, oh, I'm really making a mess here, aren't I? I'm going to just tie the top of this. Oh, wow, what did I do here? Here we go. I'm just going to tie the top of that loosely. And as you can see, I kind of made a mess with this, so I am just going to trim this piece off. So I've got that loosely tied at the top. Then I'm going to take my scissors and come down here and trim the bottoms. Then I can slide this off. And I don't want to tie this, I didn't want to tie this top one tightly because you want this little loopy part at the top of your tassel. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top of my tassel and I'm going to slide it through. Actually, I want to do it this way. I'm going to slide it through this loop and just pull these all down straight. And then I'm going to move it up a little, tie it, you know, get it a little snugger. And I'm still going to slide that up just a hair. And before I get carried away, I'm going to take this piece that I tied at the top very loosely and remove it because I don't need that anymore. Just slide that out of the way. as you can see, I've left one side longer. And then I'm going to tie this tight. Make sure you get it in a knot. Might want to tie it, oops, tie it a couple times. And then you trim just the short side. Oops. All right, so I've got that trimmed. There. And so then you'll do the same like I did at putting this one on. Put that on with the glue dot and pull this piece over and attach it to the center. But that's how you make your tassel. It's really... It, it's not hard. It's just, you know, you got to figure out how to do it. But there you have it. Some fun little gatefold graduation cards. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Take care and happy stamping. Bye-bye.